Hello, all. It is I, the Beast, and I've returned you with another fantastic installment of Beastly Reviews. And I bet you're wondering why I'm holding this basketball. No, it's not because I was bragging about being a part of Prince's team when he played Charlie Murphy and Company, although I was. But no, no, no. As a matter of fact, it's about a little bit of a segue into today's latest product. That's right, because you see, today's product is... Frosted Flakes, wait, wait, wait for it, wait for it, with cinnamon basketballs, crunchy, or crispy cinnamon basketballs at that, and I'm not the only person who's excited about this. Look at how excited Shaquille O'Neal looks. Ooh, cinnamon basketballs look absolutely delectable. And uh, Tony himself appears to be some sort of a prodigy in the old basketball department right here. Oh. Look at them. Wow, uh, Tony the Tiger must be much taller than uh, I envisioned. I envisioned that he'd be about six feet tall, but uh, if he's just back to back, shoulder to shoulder with Shaq, he's got to be close to seven feet tall, which is a bit scary. Uh, and oh, look at this. Scan or code to hang out with Tony and Shaq. Oh, you can hang out with both of them together. What a wonderful time that would be. I can only imagine the litany of topics that we would discuss. Liechtenstein would be one of the, the, the top uh, foci that I would think of, and the greater parts of cognitive dissonance. But that's going to wait for another day because I'll have to actually scan the barcode on my phone. So without further ado, let's talk about frosted flakes with cinnamon basketballs. The doy don't the basketball. The only people who are going to know that are the people who watched Doug as children. And if you didn't, you're really missed out. I'm of course not talking about uh, the weird Disney Doug, I'm speaking specifically of Nicktoons Doug. Okay, and uh, as we all like, the, the bag opens without horrible issues. Mm. This does not smell of... Uh, oh yeah, I'm doing that again. This does not smell of frosted flakes, oddly. And, um, oh, there we go. So there is a ball right at the top. How lucky. Uh, although it's, uh, there, you see that right there? I guess that's supposed to be some sort of a, some sort of a, a basketball-like uh, item of some type, although it looks to me more like a, an orange crunch berry. So maybe this rolled out of a bag of a, a cap and crunch around October. And hope to God these aren't from October, because that means they're going to already be far beyond the pull date. But uh, you know how we do these things here. Here's my trusty bill. And my comedically large spoon that is weirdly discolored and sort of yellowishness. Don't draw any conclusions with regard to that. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare myself a bowl. And we'll go from there. Jump cut! Okay, so we've got our bowl. We've got our comedically large spoon. We have our unsweetened vanilla silk almond milk so that we can watch our beastly figures. And without further ado, let's take a nice big old heaping helping of frosted flakes with cinnamon sugar basketballs, shall we? interesting about this. Okay, first of all, I want to say that it's good. Th th these are tasty. However, it's not quite what I expected, because you see, I'm, I'm tasting the cinnamon. The cinnamon is, is, is very uh, evident, and it actually, the aroma of cinnamon is also very evident as well. But, um, oh dear, I'm so sorry. It's not cool to talk with my mouth full. Little cinnamon basketball. Anyway, yeah, the cinnamon, good, uh, but the flakes, I'm, I'm not getting the essence of frosted flakes with this. It tastes a bit more like oddly special K almost, and probably way off on that, but even the texture of the flakes are not the way that I remember frosted flakes tasting. Uh, it's probably just because I'm guessing that the cinnamon sort of overpowers the frosting in the frosted flakes. But that's not to, that's not to say that these are bad in any way. These are actually quite good. Although overall, I think that I would prefer the classic Frosted Flakes on their own to uh, any additional items such as these, uh, these cinnamony basketballs. 
and, and as much as, uh, as I do trust uh, Shaquille O'Neal's product opinions and whatnot, I feel like I feel like he might have gotten a lot of money for this one because Frosted Flakes are actually better on their own. But uh, I would give these probably a six and a half to seven point five. They are good. Uh, they taste they taste really good actually. I'm not giving that Frosted Flake flavor though. And that's the thing. It's a Frosted Flake brand branded cereal. It's not like a it's not like a Shaquille O'Neal like cinnamon basketball branded cereal. It's not an NBA classic branded cereal. It's not a Moses Malone branded cereal with cinnamon basketballs. So in that way, it misses the mark for me and my very stringent guidelines on what I'm going to give grades on. But what do I know? I'm just a beast. So um, yeah, if you thought that this video was halfway decent, at least, or at least better than a 6.57, please like and subscribe. These reviews on Instagram, these reviews on YouTube, you know the drill. And until next time, I hope you have a fantastic week. See you later. Bye-bye.